one million copies of this. The project is called When It's Dark. Just buy that shit. And when it resells, you know that I gave that back to you. Come August 10th, I'm not gonna beg you to make this fucking money. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Scatboy392. And today I'm back with another video. Something a little different, man. Um, Today I want to discuss Tory Lane's new project he dropped. It's actually an NFT project. And if you don't know what an NFT is, to sum it down, the NFT is pretty much some kind of intellectual art or, you know, it could be music. It could be, you know, a picture. Something that's pretty much put into an NFT, a space where it can be sold, you know, resold and traded for, you know, different forms of currency. One of them being like cryptocurrency. So anyway, he just dropped this new project. And three days prior, it could have been longer, but a few days prior, you was able to pre-order it. Now, the thing was, there was only 1 million uh, units available of this project. And once it sold out, it sold out. So, I think it's seven tracks. And it has seven different artworks that comes along with each track. And I just wanted to share my thoughts on it because I did purchase 100 copies. I purchased 100 copies just to take a shot in the dark to see what happens with the resale. Plus, I do like Tory Lane, So, as an artist, I did want to support him. So, I felt like... You know, at a dollar each, you know, if I bought a hundred, I spent a hundred dollars. I got some good music. So I really wasn't really tripping. But he recently did this and he had 700 units the first time he did this. And the first day they were selling for $700. The second day they were selling for $34,000. Now this is allegedly, he did say this himself. So I don't know. I, I didn't hear that, but that's crazy if so. So, um... First of all, I did get the music. It did. Um, it was available to listen to at 5 p.m. today. Um, the album is dope, super crazy. If you know Tory, he's a super talented artist. I respect that man Penn so much. So I did definitely had to tap in. The album fire. Every song is stupid. The beat selection is crazy. Um, definitely felt dope being able to experience something that unreleased that you know no one else was able to hear unless they purchased the nft so as far as resale being that this time there was a million units available even though it sold out in, in under a minute which is extremely crazy I'm like yo i don't want to celebrate for no reason i want to make sure i'm celebrating for the right it's gone so it's gone even though it sold out in, in under a minute, which is extremely crazy, I think a lot of them was pre-ordered because I did pre-order my, you know, 100 copies. But being able to sell a million that fast is nuts. You know what I'm saying? Without a label, even after being blackballed by the industry, he was able to do that, which is extremely crazy. So bro pretty much made a million dollars and left the floor open for his fans to be able to make money because he could have charged $5, $10, Maybe even as high as like 15, and I think he still would have sold out all 1 million copies. So, super dope and innovative by Tory to do this. I think this would be done again. You know, I think if an artist like Kanye or Drake was to do this, it could resell for a ridiculous amount. So, we'll see in the future how this affects the way artists drop music. But, um, resale, I'm thinking, I don't know. Honestly, I really don't know. I had people on Twitter asking me, you know, what do I think it'll resell for? Honestly, I do not know. Um, if they sold for ten dollars, I will be happy. If they sold for twenty dollars, I'd be happy. If they resold for nothing, I would not care. Now, one of the things is, so the place you had to buy it was e-nft.com. So it has to be sold up there because that's where you actually own your NFT. So the resale market on that website and app. It's still in progress. So as of right now, you can't even sell it. I don't know if that hurts the value or if it's going to help it. And hopefully, they will unlock the selling features within a day, you know, a day or two. Because a lot of people may have bought it just for the flip. And right now, they can't flip it because you can't sell it. So each individual project came with like a code, which would be, you know, I would. It looks like a crypto wallet pretty much. So maybe it's something you could it's an address that's what it's called it's pretty much an address so each um project came with like an address where you could sell it but um i don't know man we'll have to see what happens with the resale um 
Drop your opinions down below what you think it a resale for. If you didn't get your hands on a copy, comment down below what you would be willing to pay for. Also, I did cop 100 copies. So one of them I will keep to listen to and I got 99 for sale. So if you are interested, I'm going to update the bio as soon as I can. Whenever I can sell them, I'll update the bio with my link where you can purchase them. And, uh, you know, hopefully I can make some Ethereum or some Bitcoin or something off of the, uh, the NFT project, man. I think it's called When It's Dark. I'm making a video, so I don't want to go back. But I think it's called When It's Dark, man. But it's a super dope project, I'm telling you. Track number one, Fire Stupid. You can hear snippets of it. But it's not on YouTube. I'm sure some idiot's gonna upload it to YouTube and hopefully Tori was able to flag it and pull it down. I don't know how it's gonna work. YouTube, YouTube um, not YouTube, but Wu-Tang once did this with a limited edition album and of course it ended up on YouTube. So we'll see how that affects the value. You know, that's one thing you're gonna have people giving it away for free after they, you know, purchased it. But they're really just hurting their pockets because the more exclusive we can keep this content, the more it'll be worth in the long run because people won't pay for it if they're able to go on YouTube and listen to it. So that'll kind of kill it. But, you know, major salute to Tory for trying something different, being innovative, being one of the first ones to drop an NFT album. It's super dope, man. You got to respect it. It's nothing but respect. You know, it's pink game crazy. The songs is crazy. So it's definitely a great work of art that I feel like could have dropped on Apple Music and went platinum anyway so big ups to him man but like i said comment down below let me know what you think man if you heard it let me know what you think of the album like i said let me know you know what you think these are resale for my opinion is i could see them going anywhere between 20 and 100 bucks because there is a million in supply but i really don't know honestly this is my first time dealing with the nft space it's you know it's still very new so we'll just have to see man but if you make any money, you know, shout out to Tory. Thank Tory for if you make anything. If not, you got dope music. Because a lot of y'all probably only bought one, so you only spent a dollar. You know, for people that's bought, you know, 100, 200, 300, they probably looking to make money. So hopefully everybody able to make money, man. But that's all for the video, man. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I make a lot of dope content, um, mostly about my car. As you can see, I'm in a scat. So uh, if you want to, you know, Mopars or just fast cars, subscribe to the channel. We got dope content. I make gaming content, so when a new 2K and a new Madden drop, I'm going to be doing updates on that too, man. But subscribe so you can find out later what I was able to sell my NFTs for because I will be selling them, and I will make another video following up with this one, man. So that's going to be all for this video. Let's get it.